You could own all the money in the world and it wouldn't make you any happier. All the Money in the World is a true story thriller by Ridley Scott about the infamous kidnapping of J. Paul Getty III, played here by Charlie Plummer. The boy's mother, Abigail Getty, played by Michelle Williams, is told by the kidnappers to get $17 million in ransom money from her ex-father-in-law and wealthiest man in the world, the first J. Paul Getty. Getty is played by veteran actor Christopher Plummer, no relation to the actor playing his grandson, who takes over the role from Kevin Spacey, who was removed from the project after a scandal of misconduct broke last year. As major of a change as this is, all the money in the world doesn't seem phased by it at all. In fact, after seeing the movie, I think Plummer should have been the choice to portray Getty from the start. Getty refuses to pay the money, citing that if he began paying ransoms, then more kidnappers would go after his other grandchildren. As understandable as this reasoning is, it's still a pretty shitty thing to do. And we also get the sense that it's not really about his grandson at all, but that it's just Getty doesn't like to give money away. What Getty does decide to do is hire a former CIA spy, played by Mark Wahlberg, to hunt down the kidnappers. This is the only time in the movie Getty is portrayed as having even the slightest ounce of humanity or selflessness. As for the rest of the movie, he's depicted as a miserly, materialistic man who only thinks in dollar signs, at one point in the movie, he attempts to strike a deal with Abigail Getty, saying he'll pay the ransom on her son only if she signs the custody of all of her children over to her drunken, good-for-nothing ex-husband. And this perfectly portrays Getty as the never-satisfied human being that he is. Getty only plays a supporting role in the film, as much of the movie's plot is centered around Abigail Getty and the CIA's attempts to track down her son. All the Money in the World is an exceptionally taut and tense thriller that's always moving, but never loses track of itself. I was entertained and kept on the edge of my seat by nearly every minute of it, all the way down to the rescue of the young Getty that left me unsure of who was going to get to the boy first. All the Money in the World subs is both a gripping crime film and an unglorified, lackluster depiction of how enough money is never enough. Thank you so much for watching. I have more reviews planned up soon. Until next time, I'm Logan D. McCoy, and this is Real McCoy Reviews. Tell him I'm coming.